Okay. That's so me on uh, in Woodsley because our address was Woodsley then. And how old do you think you are at that time? <laughs> well, I was. Well, I must have been about sixteen or so. Now I. I don't ever think I remember ever seeing you ever ride a bike. I never had a bike. Well, <laughs> just there, that? but I mean, I, uh, that, that's all. But you rode it when you were a kid? Did that's you, all. But you did. Okay, yeah. that's, uh, I feel better that you, you've ridden a bike before. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I wouldn't even know how to ride a bike anymore. I had to have a bike there because uh, we only had, one car, right? Uncle Andy used to go to work, and you know, if we had to go somewhere, I had to go on a bike or walk. And so, how far would you ride on a bike? Was you were like, where would you go on your bike? Well, it was good to ride on a bike there because it wasn't busy traffic on that road, right. and you know. But what, what would you ride? Where would you ride your bike? Like into Just into locally. like into Woodsley or something like that? To Woodsley, yeah. mostly, you know. Yeah. All right, so that. That's you, and, and Bubba and Zetto. And Bubba and Zetto, that's a, and a house. Is, which house is that? That's on, one on uh, number the, three highway. Is you. that Northridge or is that? Northridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you're older there. How old are you there, you think? Oh, that was, um, I was working then already. You look like you're dressed up, ready to. You're the church, probably. Is that what it is, you think? Mm -hmm. So this, this picture says it's in Pittston, Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's, that's my cousin. Mom, dad, and Zarn, and caught him. Yeah. Okay. So this that's is... That's in Pennsylvania. My yeah. cousin's in Pennsylvania at Pribulas. You know, I was visiting there. And... And I was single there, and yet... I was going to say, yeah, because it, it, on the back it says it says Helen Zarni. Mm -hmm. So this is Sandy Young... Young? Yonki. Yonkai. That was from Zeto's side, right. Zeto's family. So who would you be, have been uh, visiting then? Like how, what's the relationship? Um, relatives, Zeto's um, sisters, children. So your cousins? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In, in Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania. He had two sisters. He had a sister in Pennsylvania. And apparently she came there... She came to America before Zeto did. See, Zeto was uh, in the United States there for a while, too. But uh, he wanted Baba to come there. At that time, only Auntie Anne was born, and uh, Baba didn't want to go. So Zeto, see, Zeto was working in the mines in mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. And so then he quit his job and went back to Europe, to Slovakia. And he's been there until we came to Canada. Mm -hmm. hmm. Now who's this? Of course, who? <laughs> <laughs> My wedding day. Your wedding and day. And that was uh, taken uh, on uh, Seminole. So what, where is that? That's like for that's closer to Drulard, isn't it? Yes. It was, no, it's closer to Walker Road. Or Walker, I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So why were the pictures taken there? there? A, well, because that's where the wedding was. Yeah, there was a hall there, and then the factory was on the other side, mm. you know, up the St. Luke Road, or... That's where the reception was. Yeah. Yeah. On the corner of St. Luke, there was right. a hall here. It was, a, I think, a Croatian hall. Right. It was two floors, so we ate... The one guest, because, you know, we had over 500 people, so mm -hmm. one set of guests ate downstairs, you know, it was like a big hall downstairs mm -hmm. with the kitchen, and then they went upstairs, and then the other guests from upstairs came to eat downstairs. Oh, he did in shifts. In shift. <laughs> and course they played upstairs the, or we had a real live orchestra on our wedding and so 
that was still a big wedding at the time, mm -hmm. though. That's, it that's was. a big it wedding any time, really. Yeah. And, but yeah, that's uh, 1952. Mm -hmm. So these are pictures from your honeymoon, apparently. Yeah, well. So that says in Kingston. So where did you go on your honeymoon? Did you? Well, we started off with Niagara Falls. And did you do that right after you got married? Some places. No, but oh, did you leave on right on our wedding day? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there was some rain early in the morning, but then it was cleared up. It was like God was good to us. He gave us a great day with sunshine and mm -hmm. all. You know, and, but then you left for your honeymoon right after your wedding. No, or? no, we, we stayed. It was like in uh, going to Baba's, you know, on the farm. There was a motel. It's it's not a motel now. There was this in the back, mm -hmm. and we stayed in that little motel. Oh, but oh, like your wedding night? That's where you went your wedding night. Oh no, uh, our wedding night we stayed in. Uh, no, this is our wedding night. We'd stay in a hotel. In it Windsor. Was, um, Prince Edward. Prince Edward old Hotel. In Windsor? Yeah. And then you... Uh, all that. Right. Yeah. And then you went for your honeymoon, like, next day or whatever? Like, well, no, we went to the hall because yeah. there was a function. We we had, like, we and, um, I guess, my parents and that'll... Baba Petro, they invited some close friends for dinner. We mm -hmm. had about 150 for dinner mm -hmm. Sunday. So we went out there for our dinner, for breakfast, I right, should say. Right, right. And then you, went, then you went on your honeymoon. So you went to Niagara Falls first. We started off in Niagara Falls, and then we went on different places. So this says it's in Kingston. Yeah. Yeah. And then we went like through Canada, and yeah. then we went through the states, you know. So this one is, this says. We um, went up as far as Montreal. Well, that's Montreal. We went to Montreal because I'll never forget. I never told Dad. I didn't even know about Saint Andy Beaupre, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where he took me to Saint Andy, Saint Andy Beaupre, Saint Joseph's in uh, Quebec, you know all those places. I didn't know about those places. So he surprised you where you were going? Yep. You didn't know where you were going? I, I, never, I never made no plans. He made all the arrangements. Right. So this is from uh, Trois-Rivier, Tra Three Rivers? Yeah, Three Rivers. That's uh, before Montreal. Yeah. Has he got a cigarette in his hand? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't doubt that. So where else do you? Where did you go on your honeymoon? So you went up through Canada and then you went. We went and uh, we stayed in motels, mm -hmm. hotels, you know, and uh, through the states. Where did you go in the states? Through uh, Buffalo, New York, and out that way. And then you came back, like you went as far as what Montreal was the farthest. The farthest you mm -hmm. went. Yeah, Montreal, and then we went to. Uh, Jeez, I never, you know, I never, nobody would think, like now, everybody thinks, like when you get married or something, you think of writing down where you've been so that <laughs> you manage your ch grandchildren know. <laughs> but I never even thought of that, you know. So there's a young couple. Yeah, that's already your home. But that's, that's probably in the 60s, I think. Yes. That was, uh, yeah. I look at that hairdo and I think, oh my gosh. <laughs> What's wrong with that hairdo? <laughs> Have it back home, you know, mm -hmm. they back home at that, that, that time to make it look big. But like, was that, was that, where would that have been? I mean, I don't know if, you, like, was that like at a party or is that like, like, where do you think that was? I think that was, we were at, maybe at the hall or... Because you're all dressed up. Yeah. We were at the hall or something or maybe at the church function somewhere, mm. you know. Because the Slovak church had a lot of functions going on.
This so this is this is Patrick's christening. It has to be. No. His, that's his baptism, it says. I don't see Patrick in the picture anywhere. No, it was <laughs> just me. Yeah, I had to come to the altar with the candle, you know. It just seem, it seems funny that they would, that's the picture that would be taken. Mm -hmm. And not a picture of him actually getting blessed. Yeah, it's funny, I don't know why. But there must be some somewhere. Maybe lost somewhere around. So that's Bob and Zetto's uh, 50th anniversary, anniversary, right? Yeah. So, how, what did they? What did? What? The, how did they feel about coming to Canada? Like, well, Bubba didn't really want to come, and she was in Canada for I don't know how many years, and she always wanted to go back to oh, Slovakia, yeah. you know. But of course, Zeto was lived in the States, so he's been in the United States. I don't know how many years he was in the United States. I think my sister Mary would know, mm -hmm. you know, but I was too young to remember all those things, you know. But my sister Mary would know, but see, none of my sisters are alive now, so mm -hmm. I could ask them. So when did they move to... Um did they move from Cottam to Francois? Is, or well, did yeah, they? It was, uh, it was in Francois. Yeah. There. Yeah. That's the only home that they lived in. Did they in. build that house? Yes. Or, yeah, they built that house. Yeah, and they, yeah, that's where they died from. Yeah. On Francois. So, so how long after you got married do you think that, how well long was it before they moved to, to Francois? Well, it was quite a few years yeah. because I remember, I think Bill was born we used to go out in the farm as a baby, you know. So it was quite a few years. Yeah, they, uh, and I don't know, I think Andy sort of cooked them because he was working at Walker, it used to be Walker Metal at mm -hmm. that time, but it's, Chrysler spot them out. Right. Just like Chrysler spot out Ali Young's. Did Uncle Andy always live at the Francois house with them? Mm hmm Yeah. So that's a classic. <laughs> that's I think at, the, at the store in the kitchen, right? That's in there, in the kitchen. Yeah, that's in the kitchen. You know, you know what? This is Auntie Sue's you think? in Detroit. It says at the store in the kitchen. That's what it says in the back, at the store in the kitchen. Maybe it is. No. You think that's Auntie Sue's? I can't remember. I don't think it. Well, yeah, it could have been in the kitchen, in the house. In the house, not, that's, yeah, that's yeah. In, in the house. It's mm -hmm. not in the... Yeah. It could have been in a house, in a kitchen. Like, I don't... See, it's funny. It, everything was like... <laughs> the kitchen, there was one bedroom from the kitchen, mm -hmm. one bedroom from the living room, and the big rooms weren't big. Well, I was going to say, this doesn't look... Like, it. it's not much more no, room in here no. than... And then the back part was added on, and... Uh, it was going to the basement and to the back door, and that's where we made that extra bedroom. Right. That's at the store. That's at the store. Yeah. So there's a lot going on there. Well, it was, <laughs> it was funny, you know, when we bought the store. It was like a mirror here, and then this is where the cash register was. And this is what the cash register was, right here. And this is like a little counter about this big, and then the girl was out here, you know. So that, that says it's 1966. And then in the front, 
we had like like a little meat counter, mm -hmm. you know, it, so we sold like lunch meat oh, yeah? and kielbasa and stuff like that in the front around here. Like the grill was here and the meat counter was here. So this is 1966. Mm -hmm. So dad is 40 years old then? Yeah. But that must have been when we sh sort of sh maybe... We, I don't know how long we were in the store. Well, that's before I was born, so. Yeah. And here's the in action. Yeah, that's where the, see, this is where the grill was. See this here? And the, that would have been here. That would have yeah. been here. Yeah. And this is where the grill is, you know. And then there was like a, sort of a, we had a, oh, I don't know, maybe from here to there, that table, it was like one of those counters with the glass, and we right. had like lunch meat there, kielbasa, Mike used to go and get kielbasa to sell there, you know. This is actually from, that's from the, the reunion that we had for the store. Mm -hmm. yes. So when would that reunion have happened? Like how long after the store did you have a reunion? Well, after the store? Yeah. Was this in a hall? That was in the, in the new hall. Okay. Well, and the, but this is, that's what it says. It says it's through, oh, 1983. There we go. Helen's Confectionery Reunion. So how many people came to that? Oh, well, we had quite a few. It was almost like a wedding. Whose idea was it to have a, uh, um, a reunion? Probably your dad, you know. So did you charge money for that? Or did, like, what did, did you pay for that yourselves? Or, and you just invited people to come? Yeah. Is that what it was? It was just the closest friends and families, you know. And uh, like Walter and Hilda, see Hilda used to work for us at the store, mm. and uh, Walter was a good